boys and girls and families at Largsdale Year Centre, we have got another fun family challenge for you to try. This month in Largsdale Year Centre, we are learning all about rote counting. Rote counting is an important step in learning number order and the patterns of number. This is how we learn about the numbers that come before and after. And this is a key component in children's numeracy development in which other number con uh, concepts can be built upon. For example, this will help children do addition and subtraction as they progress in their numeracy journey. We do lots of different games and activities in nursery to help children with their rope, count rope counting skills. And one of these games is Stop the Bus. So the fun family challenge at home is to play Stop the Bus with your family and you can make the physical game to go along with it. So to make the game, you make a number line going from 1 up to whatever range you want it to go to. This one goes up to 12. Make a stop sign, just like this. And make a bus, just like this. There we go. You would then count in your head as an adult and ask the child to tell you when to stop. That's a number that you would put your bus at. So that's what your starting number is going to be. So you can start your number at 10. You would then count in your head and ask the child to tell you when to stop again. And that number will be your stop sign. For example, 4. So if the bus is starting at the number 10 and it's stopping at the number 4, you would ask, are we counting forwards or backwards? We would then decide that we're counting backwards and you would use your window wipers to give a physical motion of every time you count. So you would go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4 and then you would get to the child to shout stop the bus. And here is an example of Leslie Ann playing it with her group at welcome time. Forwards and Evelina, could you tell me when to stop? So I'll start counting in my head, okay? I'm going to start now. I've got to number four. So our bus is going to start at number four, okay? And now we need to pick our stop sign. So for the stop sign, I'm going to start up at 12 and I'm going to count backwards in my head this time. So, and I would like... Esme, can you tell me when to stop counting in my head? Yeah? So I'm going to start now. I've got to 11. So that means at this time, we are starting from number 4 and we need to stop at a number 11. So are we going to... But we don't to want to get to 12. We don't, you're right. We don't want to get to 12. We need to say stop the bus when we get to 11, don't we? And um, um, my favourite number is... Uh... Is that your favourite number? Yeah. My favourite number is a six. A six? Wow. So we're going to count, are we going to count forwards up to 11 or are we counting backwards this time? Forward. Forward. We're going to count up the way, aren't we? So let's get our window wipers ready. Starting from four and stopping the bus at 11. Are we ready? Four. Four. of playing games like Stop the Bus allow children to gain a deeper understanding of the numbers that come before and after and the pattern of number. During the game, if you were to ask your child what number comes after 7, for example, they might have to go back to 1 to generate the counting again. So they might go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And that's absolutely fine because that's a stage of their development. Another game that we play is called Spider on the Wall. In this game, is a really fun game for the children as they pretend to be spiders and climb up the wall. And here is an example of how to play the game. Time, can you count backwards from 10 mm. all the way down to 1? Right, so let's be Spider Man again. Put your hands here. Maybe come closer. In. No, there you go. Right, can you one. count from 10 all the way down to 1? 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All the way down, from five, all the way down to one. Right, five, four, three, two, one. Yay! It's time to play the game. 
it's equally as important to rope count backwards with children. We tend to rope count forwards with children all the time, as it's natural. But remember when you're planning your stop the bus and your spider in the wall games to give children the opportunity to rope count backwards. This will help children with subtraction as they progress in their numeracy development through the rest of their time at nursery and on to school.